Hey guys, and welcome back. Apparently, somebody's horse just got rustled. So I made my way back to Bonnie's farm. And I also collected the, all the flowers we needed for the stranger. Right, let's go get our friend's horse back. Got him. <laughs> now I'm robbing you, partner. Right, you can be hogtied. There we go. We're going to hogtie you and leave you to die out in the hot sun. Because you're scum. And we can take old boy's uh, horse back. Hopefully we'll get some money. Because horse rustling, well, that's just something you don't do. That's basically a death sentence out in the old desert. There's a bounty there as well. Maybe we should go look at that. Hey, our friend. Thank you, sir. I'll pray for you. Well, I mean, you could pray for me, I suppose, but I'd rather you gave me some gold. Hey, 15 bucks. You know what? We'll take it. Right, there is a bounty here, which maybe we could also look at. There is also, um, there is also the map, the treasure map that we've got, which I believe that's where our next treasure is located we could do that i guess yeah let's go get the treasure because if we get this treasure it should out of the way pooch definitely don't want to go trampling a dog yeah let's go get the treasure um and then that will give us some more cash to play with and it should give us the third treasure map as well i actually thought it was the uh, other side of town or the other side of the map I should have actually looked that up before we went alright so more weaponry is available but I don't know man I never really buy weapons in these games I mean I'm sure that there's going to be some weapons at some point that we'll, we will buy Ooh. Come on, easy up there. but uh, most of the weapons we will find naturally anyway all right so we also have the flowers like i said i went around and got those now eventually we should start unlocking um gang hideouts to do as well they're a lot of fun but sadly i'm not sure how we do that i don't know whether that's just something that crops up in the story or maybe we have to actually discover them it's been a while to be honest but uh, all in time, all in time. Um, I definitely want to try and get all of the outfits if we can as well. But uh, some of those actually have some rather dodgy requirements. One of them involves uh, actually winning at poker, which... Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing. Uh, we also nearly have all the coyote pelts. I did a little bit of hunting off camera. Uh, I think we need one more coyote. For our next uh, challenge. And that should be okay. Now I'm trying to remember the rub. For this. Oh. Oh god. Right let's go save this guy if we can. Yeah we saved your life alright. You're lucky dude. And we killed a lot of a lot of wolves too. Well, I'm gonna go harvest up these wolves and I'll catch you when it's done. Alright, so that's four more wolf pelts that we've got. Uh we also got some uh, herbs as well. Which, you know, not really worth a huge amount, but we're gonna grab them. Right, let's go midnight. Let's go see if we can't find this gold. Because we're starting to get the fever. I can't remember how many uh, treasure maps there are to do in this one. I, I don't think there's ten. I don't think there's that many. 
think it's like seven or eight, something like that. Two crows. I remember two crows. And we can cut off like a decent amount of land here. I'm not going to bother hunting too many more things at the moment because we just straight up don't need to. And we're actually doing okay financially as well. Some wolves back there, but they're, again, they're not really worth our time. Well, there's that dude hunting a deer. Now, I think we technically could have killed the deer for him. Um, I don't know if that actually gives us anything, though. Or if he gets a little bit salty that we killed the deer. Because technically you can... Technically... Technically, you could just, like, steal his kill. Now, the rub with this one, if I remember correctly... Um, there's, like, a little cliff kind of bit that we have to... Might be through here. There's a rabbit there. We don't really want... Want to deal with that. Um, or is it on this outcropping? Oop. Careful now. I'm sure there's like a little hidden bit. Is that our treasure? No. I don't think it's down there. Um... Thing is, if we fall down here, we've got to get back up. Right, let's just head down. Yeah, that's going to end badly for us if we go any further down. Although, I think we've... I think we've fallen too far down. Ah, no, 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 no. Son of a... Alright. We're not dead. We're not dead. Okay, that could have been a lot worse than it was. Uh, wait, hang on, is the treasure up there? Ah, son of a bitch. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, cause I know the treasure- Whoa, what the fuck? We just kind of like slid forever. That was weird. Yeah, cause the treasure is- It's in a box. Like the other one, obviously. And it's kind of- memory serves on a dodgy ass little cliff god damn it yeah we can't we can't climb up really anywhere in this game which kind of blows a whole load of horse cock it's not like Skyrim where you can walk up just about anything uh, god damn it I think I fumbled that pretty badly I know we were going the right way. Kind of. Ah, this looks like a little outcrop up here that we can scale back up. Yeah, because you've got to go through the camp and then you can slip through that um, little crack that we went through. And then you've got all the ledges that go down. And it's there somewhere. I'm just not 100% sure where. Right. So I'm sure we've got to like head through here. Get up to that cliff. Unless it's this way. Which I really ah, is that a coyote? Not hundred percent sure if that was a coyote. I think it was a wolf actually. Well, whatever. Now, we're looking for, like... Ah, there's the treasure. Ooh, careful. There we go. We got it. We got it. Yeah, a bit of a dodgy one to get. To be honest. Now, I think this one's another gold bar. 
Now you're talking indeed, John. Yep, gold bar and another treasure map. Jackson's gold plus one. So, if we now look at on our other treasure map, treasure rank four. If we go into our inventory. Treasure map. So, this one is in a mansion house which actually is pretty easy to find so that one is tumbleweed right so there's a mansion somewhere around in tumbleweed I can't exactly remember where it is. Is it? Ah, it might be that. And we have to go down into the cellar. Uh, and that's where that treasure is. I think that's off the top of my head. It's been a while, damn it. Anyway, that's fine. We have what we came for. Now let's try... If we can to get back up, this is the next challenge. Come on, John. John! Yeah, John. You're not very good at this, are you, buddy? I mean, I could get up there. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Definitely fine. Hey, is that a. That's a coyote. Can we really not skin it? Yes, we can. Now, will that give us the last pelt that we need? Possibly. Oh no, it's a fox. Oh, now I feel bad. I don't wanna, oh. That's a coyote. Wherever the f fuck knuckle it is. That's the f that's a fox. Yeah, then we're being stalked somewhere. Oh, there they are. No, they're not coyotes either. Oh well, well we're not going to worry about that just about now. Now I suppose what we could do. Let's find somewhere to camp. Is it going to let us camp here? Be hella nice if it does. And then we can tr quick travel. Nope. Need a better spot. But I thought that was a pretty bloody good spot. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. I mean... Kind of an okay shot, I suppose. I kind of just saved you, dude, from a shitload of wolves. You might want to keep your eyes open. Ah, oh, God, I wish you could skip this. But like I say, they are so, so much worse in the next game. Right. Are you going to offer me a challenge? Or... What? Oh. Yeah, you better. You wanna be another nick in my belt? What are you talking about? What are you aiming at me for? Right, I'm gonna skin all these guys. Okay, so 70 million wolves later. I think we're pretty much exterminating the entire population at this point. Ah. Okay. Now. Horses down there. We should be able to camp up here. I say should optimistically. There we go. About time. Yeah, bit of a weird mechanic. Doesn't always work as good as it should. Uh, let's travel. And 
We could actually go straight to Armadillo, to be honest. There's a skunk behind us in the background. Go straight to Armadillo. We can sell everything we have apart from the uh, flowers that we need for Matey Boy. In fact, there might be a bounty here as well now because we've made some progress. Now, considering this game's installed on the SSD, it isn't exactly loading much faster now, is it? Right, Herman Moon, where are you? Where's Mr. Herman Moon? He's got the shop on the corner, hasn't he? There it is, general store. You are always welcome at this establishment. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. Now, he's got some horse pills. I don't think horse pills are like worth it at all. Right, we need the desert sage, we need the red sage, and we need the fever view. The rest we can sell. We sell that. I see, so we have to sell everything individually. God damn it. Right, so that's coyote pelts. So we just need one more. Which shouldn't be that hard to get. Deer skins. Deer skins are worth a decent amount of coin, actually. Fox meat. Look at fox fur. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, man. The foxes really are worth hunting. So's the skunks. Not sure skunk meat sounds that appetizing, but whatever. Snake skin. Yes, I found that one off camera. We have 20. 20 wolf meat. Holy crap. And wolf pelts as well. I don't know. 300 bloody money. Good God. They are absolutely worth hunting. Wow. $18 for wolf hearts. So you don't get a wolf heart for every wolf you kill. That's worth knowing. <sighs> and that's worth more. Wasn't the last bar of go uh, gold we found? That one was worth like 100, I think. This one's worth 188. We've got some good coin now. We've got some very good coin. Everything is proudly made in the USA. Is that right, my friend? I'm sure we'll be back. Don't know where, don't know when, but we will be back. Right, let's go save the game. Now we've uh, made all of that cash. Because that is a hella amount of money. We've gone up from like 800. Well, actually, I think it was like 744 money we had. We've now got nearly two grand. That's, to the best of what I can remember, that's a lot of money in this game. I think. Money in the second game is way harder to uh, come across. At least as far as I got, you know. Actually, what we should do is grab the container because that restocks all of our weapons. I'm pretty sure it restocks your like ammo for free as well, which I definitely don't think you can do that in the um, in the second one. All right, whatever. Whoop. Now, let's head back on over to Bonnie. Although, we could go flowers for a lady. Let's go do the uh, stranger. Let's go see what this guy gives us. Not going to worry about West Dickens for now. Alright. Not sure where this quest goes, to be honest. I'm assuming there's going to be something weird going on, like his missus is probably some dead corpse or something that he's been like hanging on to, you know, for like seven years and she's just all stinky and rotten, probably just a skeleton. That's kind of what I'm envisioning right about now, but uh, you know, he might be a normal person. Usually these strangers are pretty um, questionable individuals though. Having said that, the guy that we uh, made the water deal trade for and bought that land for him, he seemed to be somewhat on the straight and narrow, I guess. I mean, he wasn't like a penis, 
and he did give us all of our money back and then some we made a cool 20 bucks off him so I guess there's that okay seems to be all quiet so far there is somebody shooting but I guess that's none of our business Never really a fan of the fact that you've got to tap the A button to keep the horse uh, moving. I always thought that was a bit funky. Imagine if you had to do that in GTA. Or keep tapping the A button to keep the accelerator down on your car or something. Doesn't really make a lot of sense now, does it? Unless you're driving a piece of shit and you've got to keep kicking it to keep it going. That's a little bit different. Right, he's flying by. Here we go. At least we get to enjoy some scenery. Oh, he's actually back at his little uh, modest house. Ah, wolves. Wolves are absolutely what Really? Really? Why Why is he running away? We're literally like killing the wolves that are about to attack us. And off he fucks. Into the fucking uh, over the horizon, I should say. Ah, oh, you know what that means as well? That means we have to wait until he respawns. Now I wonder if we can set up a camp and just like pass some time and he'll be back. Maybe. Ah, uh, son of a... Oh no, 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 he's back already. Good. I was gonna say, dude, come on. I got the flowers for you, brother. Here's your flowers, Billy. Well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. Sure. All right. Maybe just for a minute. It's my other half. Lovely Annabelle. <coughs> yep. Much obliged. This a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. <laughs> Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and a good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Uh Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Well, uh, I was... I was being facetious. I was being facetious, dude. I, I, I didn't think that she actually was going to be dead. I th okay. I don't know if you heard what he said then, but he, he was saying that we're welcome back anytime. And then when I walked back to the cabin, he was saying, oh, I know your game. You're a little bit sweet on her, aren't you? I was like, no. And then he was muttering about offering her a uh, foot bath. Well, uh, yeah, it's, anyway, uh, moving on to Bonnie. Man. I mean, I know there's a particularly fucked up individual that we will be finding a little bit later on, but... Yeah. I mean, she's definitely an angel now, so there's that, I suppose. All right. Well, let's see what Bonnie needs help with. Uh, also, we didn't complete 
the optional night watch mission. Whoops, we just killed a chicken. Because um, we, that's one of the requisites for unlocking a outfit. And as that isn't marked, we mustn't have completed the night watch properly. Anyway, the burning. What? Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Nah, that doesn't sound good. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Well, I mean, you know what your dad's like. He's probably out wrestling some alligators or, you know, trying to round up some horses or something. All right, let's go. I'm sure there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Hmm, doesn't sound good. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. Damn. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. Or at least sending money oh, home. I think I see someone. Okay, well your eyes are obviously better than mine. Come on! Daddy! Oh. What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. All right. Well, at yeah. least, uh... What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Yeah. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Yeah, in all fairness, we have seen pretty nasty things oh, out here. Damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. <laughs> The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal, there's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're oh my god, the barn's on fire! Yeah, unfortunately we missed more bloody um, dialogue there. And we were going as slow as we could. Alright, looks like that might have been just a distraction. This is really bad. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry. We're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Climb the awnings. Alright. Open up. Jeez. This is definitely not as safe as it looks. Um, can we climb up? Oh, right, I see. Yeah, looks like uh, the McFarlanes definitely have enemies. That's definitely not going to be a thread that's going to play out. Good. Ah, oh, what a mess. All right. That's fine. Let's get this open from the other side. We got it. We got it. Looks like you're going to be building another barn. Really, McFarlane? Slap horse. Get out of there. Come on. We're not having horse meat on the menu tonight. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we can still jump that. Don't worry. 
Right, looks like we're going to have to have a proper run up. Oh, I don't know if we're on a timer. Oh, let's hope not. All right, John. Ready? Go! Oof. Okay. Okay. Bit of excitement. Now, all i got to do is say hello. Dude, there's bigger things going on right now. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Damn, son. I think we did a good deed there. But this is a problem that's absolutely going to need to be dealt with. Unfortunately, I think it's a problem that's going to have to be dealt with further down the line. We can do a night watch job, which we might do in the next episode, actually. I need to go and rest. And then we can start... I suppose we could go get that other treasure as well. Uh, which was up here, I believe. I'm sure that's where it is. I'm sure it is. Right around the back. Um, Gap Tooth Ridge. I know there's... There's an outpost in Gap Tooth Ridge that we're going to have to sort out sooner rather than later. Now, again, I've I've already said it, but... The map in this game is really bloody short. Really short? Well, it is really short, <laughs> but it's really small, actually. Like, you can get from, you know, all the way over, say, the Great Plains, all the way down here, um, you know, probably in a couple of minutes by riding. It really is quite surprising. I thought the map was a lot bigger. Now, obviously, you've got Mexico down here, which does open, um, you know, open it up a little bit, but only by about an extra 30%. Because this does not double the size of this. This is about, you know, a quarter, I suppose. Yeah, interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to have to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, we're going to go do a night mission. And then we're going to crack on. Ah, oh, I might go get the treasure. We might go get the treasure. I don't know. We've got a lot to do. We'll decide in the next part. Thanks for watching, guys.